Jelly Birds and Night Owls, Nox here with some more City Skylines, Green Cities. I just saw a little transport vehicle right there, that was actually pretty cute, but yeah, this here is our brand new university area, which is, <gasps> ooh, look how many people are riding their bikes, but yes, this is our new area over here, which is hopefully going to bring in much more education to this city that might need it, and well, it looks like we are actually doing a pretty good job of using not the roads except for these little cars here but that's totally fine because they don't take up they don't take up much space honestly so i don't expect them to cause traffic at all so this is good i like it a lot and of course over here we have our poorly lit poorly lit monorail station here but look how many people just got off of it are they once they get over here gonna ride their bikes that's really one of the things i want to see because if that's the case, I might have to create a little bit of an offshoot from this area here that has a bike road that leads to this. Because otherwise, these poor guys, they're not going to get anywhere without uh, having to walk. Yeah, they're all riding their bikes. All right, fair. So let me just quickly do something here. Hmm. Don't like the fact that we're losing money. So I could have a bicycle path right next to this because that would help them get what they need. Now, let's see, paved path paths are nicer than gravel, they offer access to pedestrians, but pedestrians can already walk there, so it seems like that is not a concern for us at all. What is a concern, though, is the fact that these guys cannot ride their bikes unless they get to <laughs> all the way over here by walking, so that's, I don't like it. And let me see, do I want to do anything else like that? Maybe not so much, let's just go from maybe right here, because, of course, that's where basically the pedestrian path starts. And now we just need to make sure that we connect this back up to here, because otherwise we are going to be in a little bit of a pickle. Alright, there we go. So now they have their bicycle paths over here, so hopefully once they get off here, they can just go, like, walk over here across the street there, or there. Dang it, didn't really need that, huh? Oh well, whatever. And I'm gonna maybe do the same thing on the other side, but right now, money situation's not really looking that great. We are losing some cash. Oh, there we go, another bunch of people. Let's see, cross the road, bike all the way down. Are they gonna... What did I just build this for? I can't believe them. They're actually... Watch, watch, watch. They're actually going to go all the way back over here and then they're going to ride their bikes. That's exactly what's going to happen. I know it. I can tell. Oh, look at that. They're riding their bikes down this way. Nice. At least that's some people who are using that. But these guys... I don't know. There we go. They just jumped on their bikes just like that. Most of them did, at least. Ugh, sometimes. You gotta wonder, you guys. You gotta wonder. Ooh, we're making money. Alright, let's go ahead and drop the bicycle path all the way down on that side there. And yes, it did clear off all of the area that we had here for building, but I didn't really intend on building anything there anyway, so I'm chill with that. And look at how many people we have in this area. It is lovely. I love it. I actually really love it. I, I kind of want to use more bike paths just because it seems like a really cool thing to do. And these roads are pretty much clear, like there's a garbage truck, there's one random car, and that is it. So that's really nice. Of course, this area is not that populated, so these things are, um, not a surprise. Now I did want to throw down a big piece over here, which I believe was the very expensive sports hall and gymnasium. Yes, so we need a lot more money we can, before we can actually place this guy, like, right across the way here. I think that's probably going to be centered as much as possible. You know, it's not exactly centered, but hey, you know what? We're going to have to take it just because there's nothing else that can be done there. And we will need to maybe drop down a few uh, police stations and whatnot over here. Maybe just one. Oh, people can hang out outside right here. Nice. What is this dude doing? Studying. It doesn't exactly... What the? Did somebody just get tossed into the building right there? Huh. That was weird. Okay, I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to say that, you know, that's that's fine. I don't want them tossing me into a building. That would suck. So how many people are we servicing here? St no, nobody. Still nobody. Okay, well, that part sucks. But hey, bright side though, we do have some residential demand. So I'm going to say, let's start filling out another section here. Because it looks like most of this is already filled out. So let's go and drop some stuff on there. That we can maybe get some bigger buildings here that can house a lot of people. And if anybody can move there, that would be cool. Otherwise, well, I don't think it matters too much, but hey, might as well give it a try, right? And let's see, if in case people want some smaller homes, they could go ahead and build there. Ooh, we're getting an apartment building right there. Not bad. That's exactly what I like to see. That is 120,000% what I like to see, just because, you know, a lot of people can move into there compared to how many people can move into these little houses right over here. Let me just fill that one in as well. 
And I guess I have to fill that in as well because I did do both of these sides here. Now we do still have all of these up in here. Not a big deal. We can fill those out as we go, but of course, you know, we gotta go little by little. We don't want to have too much residential zoned out because then that starts causing problems. And I don't want problems. Okay, I really don't want problems. Speaking of problems, it looks like we just solved one of our own because we have plenty of money. Let me quickly make sure I don't have any loans. Uh, beautiful. And now we can go ahead and do the sports hall and gymnasium right out here so that these guys can get a little bit of recreation and enjoy their lives a little bit more, right? We have yet to place one of these because of how expensive it is. But it offers citizens more exercise opportunities, giving a small health benefit to the neighborhood, which is the collegiate neighborhood, clearly. And maybe they could, you know, play games or whatever over here, because I really am not so sure what else it's used for. So hopefully they'll use it wisely, because that would be pretty cool. Also has a lot of parking spaces, which I really, really enjoy. Alright, so other things that I want to do up in here, I wanted to add some basketball courts. Where are they exactly? Ha, right here. Can I... I can do one there, and I can do one there. Then that area will be filled out with, I'm going to say, do we have, we do have that. All right, let's just put some small businesses up in here, because I don't think anything else can fit there, and that should be just fine. All right, so hopefully that won't be too bad. I already see some people up in here, unless that's just what comes with it. Yeah, that's just what comes with it. All right, well, bright side, though, we will eventually see some people up in here. This area has some beautiful happenings which are always great and one thing I did want to do though I wanted to add the metro so I wanted to add like uh, can we do it here Ooh, we can't do it there we can't do it there <laughs> uh oh spaghettio so I could add it here and just have a shop over there I think that's what I'm gonna have to do just because I uh I need to put this somewhere here and let's see where's our closest metro very far away, so yeah, we need to connect the metro over there and over here to end up connecting somewhere up in here Because currently we don't have any of that and this will help us grow This will help people get over here and it'll be kind of lovely, right? It would be very lovely now I know that the metro isn't actually right up in here, which sucks But they can still walk it they can bike it if they want to so it's not that much of a problem as for over here though I definitely want the metro being super super close so we do have one little area right there that we can actually drop that in. Oh, shush up. <laughs> They're being like, I don't want this here. Well, I'll just deal with it. But yeah, we're, we can do that there, and hopefully that'll help us out. So let's see. We need to connect these guys together. So let's just uh, bring it up to, like, 180. Good. And connect that just like that. Beautiful. All right. So our next one is going to be right up in here where we, we can just drop it there, I guess. Hmm. All right. Let me see. Will we have another metro stop here? Probably. So where exactly will we have it? Because obviously this one's in the big area up in here. We can have one like in the city area over here, in the area over here. I don't, you know what? I can't plan this out. I, I cannot plan it out because I'm not so sure where everything's gonna go just yet. All right, so let's just, um, ooh, I don't like that. I do like the idea of doing something like slope too steep, no, like that. Good. And then bringing this out so that way we can connect it all the way over. Ooh, I have to choose where. Where, oh, where, oh, where do we go? If I wanted to go in here, hmm. I could do both just because of the fact that if I go over here, I can only really go one way. At least I think I can only go one way. Alternatively, you can just go over here to Thornton Square and be done with that. But no, I wanted to connect with this because I figured that this area here is going to have a lot of very well-educated people. So that's kind of what I want to attract here. And we do have another monorail stop there, but I think that that one's going to get served by this guy here. So I think that's fine. Let's see. I will attach this not there because that is way too close for comfort. I will attach this right here and potentially create a little bit of a connection somewhere down over where this split is, because why not, right? Why not? So let me just go for a nice little 90 degree angle if I can see, because I can barely see everything so, so bright. It's like the Discord, <laughs> it's like the very bright Discord theme that nobody wants to use. It is way too bright. So, I mean, I can immediately just go ahead and loop this instead of having, you know, to go like all the way like from here to back here. That would help us out because I don't want to, you know, go too, too far with this. So let me just probably try to do that. That might be the key here. All right, so now I want to go ahead and drop this down right over here. I want to take this out a little bit there so I can curve it this way. Good. I like to have curvy stuff up in my cities just because I think it looks kind of nice. 
All right, so we just curve that up into. Ooh. I'm gonna see something like that, and then we can bring it out. I know it, you know, it creates a longer, longer line here, but I like that. We could, we could stop at the airport, but that would take away the reason for you know the stop existing here, because people do come from the airport to go to this one here and then get off here. And if I do it here, they might just take this here and not actually take the stop here to get over to this area. If that made sense. Hmm. What should I do? What should I do? Choices. Well, I'm going to make a choice right now. I'm going to make an executive decision to actually not go. Oh, slope too steep. Excuse me? Are you telling me that I cannot go over there because the slope here is a wee bit too steep? Yes, that's exactly what you're trying to tell me. Ugh, jeez. Okay, so that has got to get deleted. Uh, zoop, zoop, and zoop. Nope, I have to go more. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Now, I understand that we're going to put the prison here. That might be a little bit dangerous, given the fact that we have this underground. But hey, you know what? If they try to run away via the metro, whatever. Props to them. They might get hit by a train, so I really don't care. All right, let's just connect that right up in there. Very weird line here. I'm not really a fan of this. Let me just try to make it a little bit neater. I know that we just spent a bunch of money on this, and I probably shouldn't be deleting these things because, well, money. But I like it when it looks nice, okay? When it looks nice, it is absolutely beautiful. So I should probably not do that, huh? Let me take it like this, and... Oh, I think I have to delete some more from this side here, it seems. All right, how about now? Uh, 180 degrees is beautiful, and something, something like that. I'm not going to bother too much with that little... Wait, can I do this? <gasps> no way! <laughs> oh, that works so beautifully. All right, there we go. So we have our uh, metro connected with just one stop there, one stop there. That's correct. We only have two stops. It's beautiful. It'll make a lot of sense once we actually add more stops throughout here. But for now, since we, you know, don't really have that going for us... Wait, we have two stops, actually. <laughs> Three stops total! Hey, that's totally fine. Alright, so let's go ahead and add that one there. We're gonna go ahead and loop back around here to close that one off. And this is gonna be called... Hmm, see, the city starts like this. So we're gonna call this one University... Ooh, Spring Park North, I guess we could call it. Let's see. Here we go. Spring... Uh, I can't see my keyboard much. Spring Park North. All right, there we go. And three stops, exactly what I want. I'm going to say let's make this line pink, unless we already have a pink line here. We do. Uh-oh. Oh, you don't have any blue lines. What the heck is going on here? There we go. Spring Park North is going to be not that blue because it's way too close to purple. Let's have it be like a brightish... Sure, I like that. All right. And then we're going to have Spring Park South just because I said so, because I I don't like the idea of some of these things taking way too long. So let's see, create a new create a new line. There we go. We're going to go that way. We're going to stop over here, and then we're going to go all the way back over here, because of course, like I said, we're going to add eventually some more stuff. So we need this. We definitely need this. All right, there we go. Wrap that up, and that's going to be Spring Park South, which is not there. It's going to be over here. Spring Park South. And this one's going to be, I guess, a different color of... Do we have yellows? We don't have any yellows. Beautiful. All right, there we go. It's going to be yellow. <laughs> uh, it's very... It's a springy color, right? So, sure, why not? All right, there we go. So, now we can transport people from in here over to this area without having to use cars. And as for you, you're still having your police issue. Well, deal with it because police should be coming in from this side here unless we don't have any. Hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, we don't exactly have any. All right, that's fair. That is really fair. Uh, let me see. Can I delete that? No, I cannot delete that. I can delete this, but there's really nothing in that corner. Sure, I'll just place that guy right there. That should take care of some of that problem there, although it doesn't reach exactly that well, but they should still head out there, right? Let me see. One car out. So let me just check to see if he's actually on the way. Who's coming over here? What is this? An ambulance? I did place a hospital over here, huh? All right, well, whatever. Hopefully somebody will be around to actually stop these guys from robbing the recycling plant, as weird as that sounds, but hey, it happens. All right, over here, let's see. Do we have anybody extra using this? Not quite yet, but oh, I take it back. There are people down there, nice. And there is one of our trains coming in. I see another one coming in over on this side, beautiful. That's exactly the kind of thing that you want to see. And let me just check for any junctions here. There might be a little bit extra. None whatsoever. Good. All right. So, so far, so good. We have to do, of course, a lot more work. Uh-oh. We're seeing more cars. 
you're doing what? You're driving to the- okay, you're driving there, but you shouldn't be. You should be taking the metro, take the uh, monorail, take whatever you can that's not a car. Come on, pollution, you guys, pollution. Some people, I swear. Uh, no matter how many <laughs> how many public transportation options you offer, they're always gonna be like, nah, I'm all set, I'll just drive my car. Like, okay, but you know you could have done a little bit better, right? So we should probably do a little bit better. Like, can I actually fit this here? No. God dang it. I was hopeful. I was super hopeful. I'm gonna put something there that's, uh, I don't know, something that helps us with transportation, but I don't see anything of the short around here. Hmm. Yeah, let me just drop another one right here. It'll connect immediately, but there's really no point for that unless we were taking it somewhere else. Hmm. Well, I guess that's about it for our public transit that we can have there. I'm thinking that if we were to add anything else, it might just be some trees, because honestly, that's the only thing I can think of that will fit right there. Alright, so what else do we need around here? We should probably go for a school clinic. Although we do have this, a school clinic will actually help us make sure that our citizens in this area are taken care of, are being healed. But I feel like I have way too much healthcare everywhere else, but I'm going to do it anyway, just because I can. And let's see, no hospital here, none of this. I could add this because it will help us out once we actually start having problems, but eh, not really that concerned with it. Medical helicopter depot, nah. A community pool doesn't make sense since we already have this guy right there, so that guy should be doing everything for us. Let's go ahead and- oh, not this problem again. <laughs> you know what, I'll just add- no, I don't like that actually. I was gonna say, I'll, I'll just add all the services to one side. No. Alright, so this road is once again having issues. As you can see here, it will not let me place the fire station flush against this building. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm actually gonna have to scoochy scooch this road down a wee bit. And can I do this now? I can do it now. Is it gonna look like that? Maybe not exactly, but it's close enough. Maybe it's close enough. Actually, let me just go back and undo this road. Maybe I'll just move it down a slight bit, like that. Can I do this now? No, it's still in. Gotcha. All right, so let me just uh, scoot you a little bit more and see if that will new. No. It'll do it there, but not exactly there. So if I could move that over, I mean, I can move it over. If I wanted to move it over, I could, and then just make things even all throughout, but nah, I'm not that kind of person. All right, let's try that there now. Ta-da! That should be enough, and now I can actually just undo, 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 and that road is fine. Did I just actually... Did I just undo something I should have undone? Oh well, whatever. <laughs> we are fine. Alright, so there we go. We have now a clinic and a fire station to take care of any problems that happen over here. Of course, we don't yet have a police presence, which kind of sucks, but we will once we uh, add our prison up in here, which is something I'm thinking about. How do we do this? Because I want to make sure that we have this in properly. So let me quickly take a look at our terrain options here and see how we can make this maybe a little bit bigger without making it too big. So, soft and terrain, if I do that, obviously, it's, oh geez, that's actually really weird looking. Soft and the terrain, there we go. We get up to be a little bit higher, but not too high. I mean, I can maybe soften this one out so that, that what the heck is that? Um, that was a little bit weird, but this, ew, it looks like it's flattening it out. I am not at all happy with that. Hmm, all right, so. I just, I kind of want to slope it in a way, and the darkness comes, so we can't really work on this for much longer until tomorrow, huh? Oh, darkness. Hello, darkness smiles, friend. Oh, jeez. Well, whatever. Okay, we'll do that later then. More people. 71. Okay, good. 71 people coming in there. How about over here? 66. Well, not bad. At least we are using this. Right? That's, that's all that matters sometimes. Alright, so we do have a lot of extra area over here that's currently being unused. We could use this for some more schools. Obviously, I'm not going to add anything else like this, but I could use it for, com for some community schools. Do we have any over here? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, about that, it looks like we have, you know, one community school here, but it seems like it's just not doing enough of a good job to cater to everybody. As you can see, we have a lot of, um... How do I say this? Uneducated folk. So yeah, I definitely need to change that. Now, if I wanted to put a road there, um, I couldn't have this here. Hmm. I can have this here and it'll cover quite a bit, sure. You know what, I'll drop it there and then we'll move it later if needed. And of course, the Institute of Creative Arts, we also need another one. So I'm gonna say, let's go ahead and drop it right there for now. We'll move it as needed because of course, clearly right now we do need quite a bit of schooling. And it, I mean, it is nighttime. So the capacity we see now is not the true capacity. 
It's just, you know, how much schooling we have at nighttime because I did. Yeah. 150 for daytime, 100% for nighttime, just because I don't want to have to spend more money in case people aren't actually going to school. But it looks like they are. That's already full. Huh. We need more schools. Hmm. Also, I like the way this is looking here. It looks like we have a sufficient amount of housing everywhere look at that these guys are leveling up too nice i'm gonna go ahead and drop this right there for now because we do have that open area and i need to actually get it filled because otherwise it looks really weird and i don't like that all right so this area not bad and this area over here well we could probably do with filling it up with a little bit more commercial because right now we don't exactly have that so let's see i'm gonna go ahead and drop some commercial right there as well and that should be okay Eventually we can fill this out once we get rid of that, but I'm pretty sure we don't need it anymore, so, hmm. Tempting to do it now, but I won't. Don't worry, I will not get ahead of myself. This time around, I will not get ahead of myself. As for this area over here, I'm thinking about filling it up with more offices just because we could use that, so I might have to do like a little bit of a, I don't know, a really weird street here to put it up in here with some more offices and same thing over here. That way we can actually expand that. For, you know, for the time being, because right now it looks like we might have a little bit of an industrial demand, which would be lovely to fill. And, ooh, everything bamboo. I mean, that sounds like a good thing to have here. Maybe people are going to be like, hey, sup, what's going on? Let me go ahead and just buy everything bamboo. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, sounds, there, there have been weirder ideas, you guys. There really have been weirder ideas, though. Though, excuse me. All right, so putting it like the prison here. <laughs> That's a pretty weird idea if I do say so myself. So the prison, right. How are we going to handle this situation here? Because, of course, we need to have this. Ooh, it's too expensive. Can I put it here? I can put it here. Hmm. I mean, we do have this big hill here, which would be nice to put it on, but it's like, seriously weird. Unless they make it like a plateau or something like that, we are not going to be able to use this for the prison. It's going to be like the weirdest shaped prison ever. Hmm, and I will actually add ourselves a police helicopter depot up in here to maybe take care of the problems that we have here. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. It looks like we have some, um, trash problems here. That can be easily solved, actually, so I'm not going to be too busted about that. Let's go ahead and drop this guy all the way over here, because that way he's not bothering anybody, right? There we go. Problem solved. All right. Oh, don't worry, you guys. Don't worry. Trash is coming. The trash trucks are coming. There we go. Oh, no power over you. Mm. We'll get it to you in just a segundo. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and drop this right here and bring it, all the way, ooh. bring it all the way across here and then over here. If I can. No, it doesn't want me to because the road is too high. The road is too high. That's not how the song goes, actually. I'm singing a choir song, by the way. All right, let's drop that there, drop that there, and then zoop, zoop, and drop that right there. There we go. So now they have their power. Once again, I really thought they were self-sufficient, but I guess not. I guess not, right? Okay, so now we can actually go ahead and take care of our prison area, which is something that I have been looking forward to for a while. And to make sure that it doesn't turn night again, I am going to pause this because I need to make sure that we aren't going to be okay. All right, so there we go. That's what I like to see. Like, nice, smooth. Wait, can I smooth that out? <gasps> I can smooth that out over the line. Yes, good. And I can smooth it out over here too, which is actually great because this area was a little bit really weirdly hilly. Hey, it's not a problem though. Not a problem at all. There we go. So that's smoothed out. Let's smooth this out as well and smooth that out there so it can look kind of sort of, ooh. Are we bringing this down? The heck? How's this helping terrain then? That's, that doesn't make any sense. Some slow terrain. There we go. Oh, geez, that's that's kind of bad. <laughs> that's kind of very bad. Uh, how about if I right click there and slope the terrain like that? Ooh, I could create this up in here that will allow us to. Ooh, I'll soften that up. That will allow us to actually place the uh, the prison right here, and then ooh, get out there. And then what I can do is just soften this all the way across there. Yeah, that works. All right, I don't mind that part at all. We can just soften this all the way across until it looks like it actually blends. You know, it's like uh, actually do makeup, which I've actually never done. I know, that sounds really weird. You're a girl, why do you not do makeup? Because I just don't, okay? <laughs> I just don't. I am naturally beautiful. That is a joke, by the way. I am, I am not that kind of person. Okay, okay. 
All right, so let me just uh, do that right quick there, and there we go, lovely. All right, this area though is a little bit wonky here. Let me just fix that right quick. Okay, there we go. This area will not change, but I am okay with that. So this should be kind of flattish. It is good, and we do have the money currently to actually buy ourselves our prison. So let's see. Must be. God dang it. We already need a road here. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the road right from there, just because, and I will have it. As a, hmm, oh, let me do the bike lane road. Just, actually, no, it has to be a nice road. It has to be a pretty road because you are going to a place that you probably don't want to go to, huh? Space already occupied, beautiful. Oh, here, there we go, all right. So let me go ahead and head on up over here and then head on up over here like that there. Sure. Oh, that is not okay. That is never okay. Oh boy. Okay, well, let me just uh, maybe take this up a little bit higher. I don't know if the prison's gonna fit there, but if it does, great. If not, then, well, mistakes were made. Let me see. Prison, prison, prison. Space is already on. Okay, ha! That's what I wanted. I wanted it at the very end of the road as much as possible. So something like that there should be fine. Let me take a look at what that looks like. It's in the mountain. It, not that much, but it's in the mountain. So now we have to basically just shoop, shoop, shoop. Nope, that's not working. <laughs> uh, can I? Let's see. Slope terrain? No, I want to level terrain to like... Not that. I want to level to this. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too much. Let's just lower that a wee bit here and see if... Ooh, that's also too much. I was just a little bit like that there. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. That way I can actually s just soften this gently. Just like shoot. Shoop, shoop, without going a little bit too crazy about that. Oh, that corner's still looking a little bit too rough, so I'm gonna have to do something different about that one. Um, hmm. All right, let me just do this all the way through to here. That way I can maybe fix that one a little better, because, yeah, that was not looking okay. All right, so there we go. Let's soften that out, soften this out here, and ta-da. I, I went a little bit too far with that corner. My bad. All right, let me just... Do that, do that. Oh, there we go, the corners again. That corner, I swear, that corner's gonna be the death of me, isn't it? Um, it's fine. It's okay, right? Yeah, it's not that bad. All right, so, not bad, and uh, this should be okay for us. Now we can actually put some people up in here. I do, however, like I said, I want a road that goes up to here because I do intend on doing something up in there. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, uh, just a small little road up in here. Can I actually get this bridged? Thanks. Okay, maybe not like that. Oh, actually, no, that, that doesn't look half bad. All right, can I? Hmm. It has to be how much? Oh, it has to be that long for it to be bridged? You, you, you're joking, right? Okay, well, bring that back down then, because I don't want to see that. Uh, bring it back down. Okay, not underground. <laughs> not underground. Can I just get a tiny, tiny, itty bitty? Like that, yeah. Ooh. That's fugly. All right, whatever. That's totally fine with me because all I really want to do is bring this up to here. Um, let's see. I want to have it something like something like that. Yeah, no, nope, like that. That one's perfect there. All right. So now I have to actually soften this again. My gosh. So let's see. It's gonna be a matter of bringing this terrain up to this part here, then softening all of that. Actually, I should probably bring it up to that, huh? Let me do that right quick here and soften, soften, soften. There we go. Beautiful. All right, that's oh, it's always these little pieces just like that there. Okay. Well, the solution may not be the most pretty solution, but it's functional. So we're gonna leave it as is for now until you know we change things up. And it looks like our two helicopters are actually in use right now. What? Not bad. At least we're you know actually making use of something we just you. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> Goodbye, take care of crime, thanks a lot, and let's see, prison vans in use, two out of four, so it looks like we are bringing prisoners over to this area. I will change this around, though, because I, I really don't like the way that looks. Ugh. I do like the way this looks. I, I like how it turned out, so that's pretty cool, even though, you know, it's close to a university, close to a bike path, which, by the way, let me see if I can actually change it up a little bit. Hmm. Can I extend this bike path all the way to the very end, like right there? That's kind of sort of okay. Kind of would have liked it like right there. Oh, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Let me see if I can do it maybe all the way through to right. Eesh. Maybe not there. I wanted to go not that far either. Like that there. Sure. That way we can actually extend to maybe where the end of the road is. Although, what we could do is extend another road out to here. Ooh, we could connect those two. That seems kind of pointless because then why are we, why do we have that? 
Hmm. Oh, wow. Look at that helicopter just going. Like, zoom. I think it's probably going to take care of the problems over here, huh? Because that is having a lot of problems. And still, oh, there's a police car. There is a police And he's ignoring it. A little jerk. All right. Well, whatever. At least we have some issues being taken care of. And that's what I like to see. And I do. I did want to see if the helicopter is coming over here. Where is it anyway? I don't see the helicopter. Maybe it's, uh, oh, we can see the plane, and is that a helicopter? That is a helicopter. Ah, oh, I took care of a different problem, it seems. That's rather unfortunate. All right, so we do have some more commercial demand compared to what we did before. I'm going to say let's go ahead and line up some more commercial along this street here. I will not put any right there for the time being just because of the fact that we have some issues in the wind. Ooh, you guys are not getting your trash picked up. Hmm. Is everything connected here by power? It is, so I no longer actually need this. So I can get rid of that and actually fill this area up with some more commercial. That way we can be all set for a little while longer, right? Because clearly we need a lot more of this. And we don't have very many commercial areas up in here, so I'm thinking that eventually we will have to do some kind of leisure area for these people somewhere up in here. I don't know where exactly just yet, but we'll figure it out as we go along, because of course, this area is not quite. Oh, that's kind of nice and flat, although it's not that high, like high enough for a helicopter place. So I like that area a little bit better for that. But yeah, we'll do a nice leisure area somewhere in here once we figure that out. No more tourism though, because everybody has been complaining about the tourism, and I don't want to cause any problems. Prison vans in use, four to four. Still no prisoners up in here, so we are not making the most of this building. Well, one thing I wanted to do though was I wanted to add the Cathedral of Plenitude. Now, I realize we currently do not have the money for that, so I can't place it down immediately, but I want to place it down soon because it is one of the requirements for yet another one of our monuments, which I would love to get all of them. I know it's probably not going to happen. It's probably not going to happen recently, anytime soon, but hey, you know what? As long as we can afford... Oh, ho, Yeah, let's place it over here so that way the prisoners can pray. Totally. These guys, though, it looks like they're suffering. Yeah, there's like little bits and pieces here and there where we don't have any coverage whatsoever, but I don't want to place a Cathedral of Plenitude just anywhere. It seems like a weird thing to just be like, oh yeah, sure, here, you guys can have it. Wait, what's going on over here? These guys have low accessibility. Are you kidding me? You're surrounded by this stuff. Ugh. Sometimes. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and place a Cathedral of Plenitude right here. It just seems like a good thing for it. It looks... I mean, this place, I wanted to save this spot here for something special. So I guess we could work on making this area something like, I don't know, a nice sightseeing place. Or, I don't know, something completely different. We'll see once we get to it. As for this, well, we seem to not have enough parks for every everybody here. And, uh oh it must be nighttime because we're losing money. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Hmm, if we're bleeding money at night, that means we are having some problems. I believe it has something to do with... Power. We're using more power because of heating, right? Well, we could do heating, right? Let's see. Wave power. Wait, what is this? Harness the connect power of water with an affordable wave power plant. Hmm. I mean, this isn't really the most useful one, so I'm going to ignore that for now. Where is heating? Did I not even... Right here. Ahem. <clears throat> saw nothing. But yeah, these guys, it looks like uh, heating consumption is a 220. No wonder we start sucking up power. So we could do a geothermal heating plant for sure, because I don't want to use a boiler station. Uh, I'm going to say, let's see, well, using geothermal energy is not as effective as fossil fuels. Yeah, I know it's not. But we need to have, like, let's see, oh my god, I'm going to say three of these. So we need to find a nice spot for them. Obviously, we've been using that for some situations like this. Upgrade water pipes. Yeah, you don't say. I'll do that once I find the spot for this, because I believe I was holding things just like this over here. Yes, yeah, like right here. Um, must be place a slope too steep, naturally. Naturally! Well, we do have some things over here that are of this capacity, and let's see. Space already occupied, because of course we got the train there. We can place it over here. Is there a random... Oh, I thought there was a random building right there. So we can build them over here. Hmm. Although it seems like it might be... Yeah, it's, it's already turning like kind of into daytime. So we're back to making money. So I should not worry about that for now. I know that it's something that we will do in the future. But for now, I am not going to be worried about it. Just because that's going to be extra money that I don't want to spend currently. Just like this. Buying those two. I don't want to spend that money right now. Because I want to use it for the Cathedral of Plentitude for sure. That way these guys will be happy. And I'll be happy. Although currently it looks like we do have more commercial demand. So I'm going to say... We do have this area here. I was going to use it for residential, but honestly, this could probably serve as a little bit of a beautiful leisure area for our people. 
Although it is close to these homes, but sh I, I feel like they should be almost used to this. Hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe they're not going to be used to it. They're going to be like, oh, what is going on over here? Also, currently it's part of that district, so I'm going to have to move this back. Oh, I'm going to have to create like a hole in there. If I can. So let's see. Pretty sure I can. Just, you know, just, just questioning myself right now. Just questioning my choices. Yeah, I don't want to have it there. It just seems like way too much of a proper area for the residential. We do have these roads over here that will allow us to add more things to this section here. So I'm thinking that that might be where we had to put it. Or up in here. Actually, you know what? We have college students over here. Why do I not do it by the college? That seems so much more proper. It makes sense. Alright, so now we know exactly where we're going to put our next leisure area. Which means I can actually zone it out to B. Let's see, zoning over here. Yeah, I can just like push this back here. And just focus this area on the leisure. Good. Okay, so I want it all to go off of this main road. Because, of course, I don't want to use anything else. Like, I don't want to use the um, this road as a main road. Like, they go down this street to get to everything else. That makes no sense. So, yeah, I'm going to have to delete this. Because I do... Excuse me. There we go. Ooh, why do you, must you delete all of that? I didn't want to delete all of it. Come on. Come on. Seriously. All right, let me quickly take this back up to, like, oof, right there, I think it was. Should be fine. And let me take a road out through over here. Now, because this is going to cause so much noise, we have to be sure that we uh, keep it as dampened as is possible with our beautiful trees. So I'm going to go ahead and take a road right parallel to this. I need to be very careful with that, actually, because as you saw there, we were already causing troubles. Troubles are not exactly that great. All right, let's take a road right there and then bring it all the way down through to right over here without connecting it because I don't want to do that. All right, there we go. So we can alternatively take the road back over. Can I take from here? See, this is why I like to not actually add these pieces just yet. It just like seems wrong. <laughs> it just seems wrong. All right, let me go ahead and drop this guy up in here. We can have some on the mountain too and just not connecting all the way through here. That way we use as much space as is possible, and then we can actually connect that just like that there. This guy is pretty much connected. Beautiful. We don't have any bike lanes over here, but that's because this area is going to be, like, super loud and bumping. You know, so it's, it's not going to be the kind of area that you want to actually ride your bike in. You might get robbed, if I'm honest here. Alright, so for this beautiful area here, let's go ahead and just delete this here. I'll leave the rest of the zoning around here. Just in case, I never really realize what we're going to do with these things. So you never know. You never quite know. All right, there we go. That should be just fine. Good. And we're going to zone this out now with a brand new area. Lovely. All right. There we go. That's what I like to see. And let me just grab some of this here. There we go. And in there, Glade Heights. Well, sure, I guess you could call it that. But I want to call it something a little bit different. Let's see. I don't believe I've used this just yet. So we're going to call this the ICMB00. Um, hmm. Bumpin' District. Yeah, bumpin'. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. All right. So let's go ahead and start zoning this out for... Oh. Before we do that, let's go ahead and give it the commercial specialization of leisure, naturally. And if I accidentally throw on any houses there, I'll do that there. Just like that. All right, I do want to actually change some of the policies up in here because, of course, hmm, I want to focus on recycling everywhere we can. It just seems right. And I should say throughout the whole city, no, uh, <laughs> no electricity for heat, but hey, it's fine the way it is. Let's do that. I almost want to do a smoking ban, but we know that people are going to be smoking up in there, so I guess we'll just leave it as is. And let's make sure that we have all these just in case. Uh, I'm going to leave NIMBY off. Uh, encourage biking if we can. Mm -hmm. And I almost want to do Old Town just because I don't want random people driving through here for absolutely no reason. Now these are going to be connected, but you know, just in case, because random people do do that kind of thing. You know how it is. You know exactly how it is. People are, people are jerks sometimes. Alright, so I don't want that at all. I want to just start zoning it out just like this, and we will add extra roads here to make sure that, you know, things are going to be lovely. Now I do want to make sure that we use as much of this as possible, so let me just zoop just like that. We're gonna, let's say, zoop just like that, and that should be, be actually, I could use this. I can use that, because that's just connected with the bike road. All right, let me, um, I can't use this, unfortunately, because it's not actually aligning with anything back here, so that's kind of pointless. That seems to be about it until we add some more roads, but this will hopefully start building up 
as soon as is possible. Now, do we have power coming in for everything here except for that guy? Or is he producing his own power now? I don't think that actually happens. Yeah, that does not happen. Well, hopefully someone can start moving in here so that that way that guy will get powered up once again. We'll have to see how this area starts turning out next time, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode. If you enjoyed, show some love by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. That really helps the channel grow, and I greatly appreciate it. And as always, stay awesome, friends. I will see you next time.